Travis Wayne Goodsell. Well, I'm up early. Kind of an interesting day to be up early. When uh, talking about fulfillment of prophecy, today is day six of Passover, of Passion Week. And we're in the latter days. The uh, question then becomes, how will the prophecies be fulfilled? <coughs> For example, today is death day. This is for Passion Week. It's when the Christian Messiah is assassinated. And technically, it was written after the destruction of Jerusalem. Which means that uh, it was written to try to explain why he failed. And so they throw in the ascension, the resurrection. And I know that upsets people because they want it to be a real history. But it follows the same pattern as the, the uh, Exodus story. As well as the Babylonian story. The Babylonian one is the actual history one for the uh, history behind the gospel version. It's the Roman Empire that causes the destruction. With Babylon it was Babylon destroying the temple, destroying the city. But in other places, it's different. With uh, the Exodus, it was the virus that uh, destroyed Egypt. The previous stars falling from heaven, three days of darkness, that didn't change Pharaoh's mind. We we're told in Matthew 24 it would be like the days of Noah. That was a natural disaster with a flood, similar to a creation story. In fact, it's exactly like a creation story taken from the Egyptian Ogdod text. And then we have uh, Samson where again he dies but conquers in his death. <coughs> That's different than uh, Babylon and the Gospels example especially the Gospels example. But when you understand that kings are Christ's, then yes, the Babylonian one fits in as well. The uh, Book of Mormon first talks about Babylon destroying Jerusalem as the warning to America and uh, then right before the uh, events of 2024 <coughs> it's talking about a natural disaster 
a whole string of them all right in a row there. And so, uh, how how is it to be fulfilled? We do know that, as much to the Mormons' displeasure and denial, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the great and abominable Church. It's got the symbol of Lucifer. So yeah, I was shocked too. I don't understand why Mormons are so upset with me. I don't understand the anger, I don't understand the hatred, I don't understand the retaliation. When I'm, I'm a Mormon, I'm preaching Mormonism, and yet YouTube is desperately trying to censor me, successfully censoring me, from being shown to other people. The prophets want me assassinated for showing that Joseph Smith is a translator. I mean, that's a shock. I show that Joseph is a translator and the church wants me dead. And Mormons, two failed marriages because of the church. And so I, I don't understand the hatred of Mormons against me for defending the church. Just because you haven't heard of what I have learned, it, it doesn't make sense for you to resort to anger and violence and hatred. And so, yeah, I, I know there will be Mormons who will say, Ah, ha, ha, see, Utah wasn't destroyed. Utah will stand forever as the kingdom of God. They're just lying in wait, waiting to type it in. Just like they did with the signs in the heavens. Mormons. Saying, ah, oh, see, we didn't go to Missouri. You're wrong, Travis. Am I? You're the ones who failed to build it. So, we can't go anywhere if we don't have it built. And that should have been the thing that would have been first on Mormons' minds is, yeah, why don't we have Zion built? You know, these are the signs. Why isn't the church building it? And they're not. Because Nelson came out and said, nope, it's Temple Square. He just doesn't want to tell us these things. You know, it's what people have to understand by using English grammar. But the churches purposely uh, conceal this information from Mormons. And so I'm the one who caught it by reading the church news. <coughs> and so, yeah, as a Mormon, it's very disturbing to realize that your church is the false church the evil church but again how is it to be destroyed and when I mean if it's not today as it is the anniversary day when I mean there's a the pink supermoon for this month there's some signs that again indicate destruction <coughs> but is that the sign for destruction not the anniversary today I, is it 2024 you know or have the enemy actually won and that scripture is fraudulent and that it will show and expose that there is no God. That God will not smite down the enemy. Maybe that's the lesson. I know that's the lesson that the enemy wants to present. That there is no God. 
that the enemy always wins. Enemy writes history. <clears throat> because that's the way it's been. Babylon conquers Israel. Conquers Jerusalem. Syria conquers Israel. Rome conquers the, uh, the Jews. So, I don't know. But I do know that there were a number of people who were hoping to build Zion in America. The Knights Templar were hoping to build Zion in America. To establish a Messiah. And the Smiths were part of that to make sure it got happened that way. As they found out from the enemy of the plot to destroy. So, and will it be like the United States? I mean, technically, the church has already been destroyed. They don't bother to tell us this. But the Edmunds Tucker Act destroyed the church, disincorporated it. It ceased to exist as a church. It was 1923 when the church started it up again. But they were not allowed to establish Brigham Young's church. They had to come up with another one. And so they chose Christianity, evangelical. Christianity specifically. So that's who Nelson was talking to on Sunday's video. But, again, he's deceiving Christians. All Christians should know that Nelson is promoting Lucifer. Literally. By denying the ascension of Jesus. YouTube will not allow my videos to get out there to the people. I am being denied warning you guys. So, alrighty. I mean, I wonder if something will happen early this morning before you guys even wake up to see this video. That's why I'm kind of curious as to why I'm up early. Maybe it's just because my mind is already thinking so much about it that it woke me up early. But, uh, we'll see. You know, is it an earthquake? Is it stars from heaven? Is it a, a Russian, North Korea, Chinese attack? <coughs> is it the United States finally doing something with the FBI? just don't know until something happens. But we have a timeline. We have until 2024. If nothing happens at the end of 2024, we'll have to only assume that wickedness wins. That there is no God. And yet I, I, I can't accept that. As much as I use science, that's the one factor, is how, how am I able to be preserved with so many people wanting me dead? How can the prophecies of, of the, the births location, the name, be so precise, because you can't just fulfill that, whether you're wicked or, right, because wickedness doesn't understand these things, they don't know who they're looking for, for a messiah, they just believe he doesn't exist and will not exist, <coughs> so, it's those other details that cause me to
say, you know what, it may likely be plausible that there is actually a God. But without God winning, God's side winning, that makes it difficult in times of destruction. As there are the majority of Mormons here who just are not believing in the Book of Mormon. They're not believing in Joseph Smith because they're not adhering to the Book of Mormon. They're not adhering to Joseph Smith. The spiritual witness prevents them from doing that. So, alright, I'll end here, but just thought I'd share that with you, if nothing happens.